and the, the Modi government unveiled the new Indian space policy earlier this year. The policy allows the private sector to take part in the end-to-end -end space activities that include building satellites, rockets and launch vehicles, data collection and dissemination. DD India correspondent Nandita Dagar spoke to senior executives of the Indian private sector companies in the space domain to gauge their feedback on this new India space policy. Listen in. So this year in April, the Modi government came out with the national space policy. Now how is it beneficial to private Indian companies like yours? Yes, I think this was uh, long awaited because now it's uh, privatized, it's a uh, uh, nice policy, one single policy has come now. We know okay, what each company, uh, whether it is a, a, a small company or a startup, I think they, are, uh, they will get benefited out of this. And the, the learnings what uh, ISRO has, will be giving back to these uh, startups or non-government uh, enterprises will be of great advantages with this one common policy. So in that policy it was clearly mentioned that uh, companies have to invest in uh, in the value chain meaning innovation and research and development uh, to the uh, indigenization of the products okay all these uh, different initiatives are nicely laid out in the policy and for each of these initiative ANSYS uh, has a solution and CADFIM has a as an system integrator or solution provider uh, along with the ANSYS solutions will help these various uh, non-government enterprises to come and offer so the solution so that we, this whole uh, uh, space mission of India is successful.